Hello, my name is Todd Bontrier, manager of the Gold Mining Camp Museum at Monroe Park, and I would like to thank you for joining me on my tour of the historical sites of the Fauquier County Parks and Recreation Department. The department has several facilities located on the former Vint Hill Farm Station military base. The Vint Hill Village Green encompasses much of the former base's recreational facilities, including the base gymnasium, now the Vint Hill Community Center, the base movie theater, now called Theater on the Green, and the base's athletic fields and marching grounds. Once ownership was transferred to the county, Parks and Recreation added Vint Hill Farms Park and the Larry Weeks Community Pool. The ownership of the farm can be traced back to the colonial era, and it was first called Vint Hill by Thomas Ho around 1803. The land passed through several owners before it was bought by the U.S. government in 1942. At the beginning of World War II, farm workers at Vint Hill noticed something strange. Messages they were receiving on their radios were not in English, but were in German. It was discovered that Vint Hill sits upon a geologic feature that serves as a long range antenna, and the messages coming through the radio were from Europe. By June 1942, the Army purchased Vint Hill and gave it another name. Monitoring Station Number One. Along with monitoring radio messages, a school was established which trained military personnel in cryptanalysis, the process of decoding encrypted messages, traffic analysis, or deducing information from patterns in communications, and cryptographic equipment maintenance. Prior to the establishment of Station Number One, Monitoring of enemy messages had been done by small mobile units spread throughout the country. Consolidating these activities led to faster processing of the information intercepted. Several of the buildings on site when the Army acquired the property were used by the military and still stand today. The original manor house, built in the 1860s, went through several uses before it became the officers club and quarters and today is now the inn at Vint Hill. Silvermead, a house built in the 1890s, served as the home of the post commander from 1942 until the base closed in 1997. A large barn with a slate roof and other structures near this barn served as the hub of radio interception operations until 1953, after which it was used for administrative office space. The barn complex presently houses the Vint Hill Winery and the Cold War Museum. The messages intercepted at Vint Hill were an important source of information for the war effort. It only took a year before a huge break gave the U.S. the intel they needed to change the course of the war. In November 1943, the base intercepted transmissions sent by the Japanese ambassador to Germany, which contained information about Germany's planned actions around Normandy, France. This message provided extensive information, which was important to the planning of Operation Overlord, or D-Day, on June 6, 1944. After World War II, Vint Hill Farm Station remained an active army base for training cryptanalysts and radio operators. While the area became quieter after World War II, it served a key role in the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. After the Cold War ended, the base was no longer regarded as necessary by the military and was closed in 1997. The Army built more than 500,000 square feet of office, warehouse space, and amenities, including recreational facilities for leisure activities, including baseball games, 
boxing matches, and movie screenings. The Fauquier County Parks and Recreation Department acquired the recreational facilities in 2001 with the Vint Hill Village Green Community Center and Vint Hill Farm Park opening that same year. The Vint Hill Village Green brought some significant firsts to Fauquier County, including the first public gym at the Vint Hill Community Center, the first lighted outdoor tennis courts, the first lighted outdoor basketball courts, and the first public racquetball courts also in the community center. The Vint Hill Community Center. The Vint Hill Community Center, which was the base's gymnasium, originally opened in August 1948 and is now a popular facility for the whole community. The center is an ideal facility for all your sport and fitness needs. A full basketball court, also lined for pickleball and volleyball, racquetball and volleyball courts, along with a fitness room with cardio, free weight, and Cybex equipment are available for the public to use. Spaces in the center can be rented before or after hours and include rooms for meetings, parties, and classes. Outside the center are tennis courts, basketball courts, three ball diamonds, and soccer fields. The Larry Weeks Community Pool is the only outdoor pool open to the public in the county. Built in 2003, this L-shaped family pool is 25 meters long with a depth of 2 to 6 feet and includes one dedicated lap lane. There is an ADA accessible entry ramp and set of stairs. There is also a waiting pool for children up to 42 inches tall and under 6 years of age. The wading pool has a zero depth entry and a maximum depth of two feet with a showering mushroom, a squirting turtle, fountains, bubblers, and a frog slide. The theater on the green first opened in 1951 as the base's movie theater. It provided the military personnel at the base with a much needed entertainment venue. Vint Hill Farms Park. Vint Hill Farms Park offers a nature trail, two outdoor volleyball courts, a picnic table, horseshoe pits, bring your own horseshoes, and a beautiful creek. Enjoy the quiet solitude of this quaint park.